so hi all in today's video we would be understanding our relationship between your product price book price book entry and opportunity line item so that you guys don't get confused whenever you are working with these kind of things right so uh, as we have previously told you right that within the opportunity and product we don't have a direct relationship this relationship is controlled via opportunity product which is a disjunction object between your opportunity and product this is also termed as your opportunity line item so when you open any opportunity uh, product junction so it would be referred to as opportunity line item so just don't get confused between these two things right now uh, let's move further so in order to create opportunity line item we need to have three things but ideally in a junction object we only require two things right the id of one object and id of the second object right but in here we require three things why let's see so we need the opportunity id correct we need the product id and we also need the price book entry id so again what the thing is this price book entry id so again we have already taught you that what is a price book entry so a price book entry again is a junction between your product and price book okay so what happens here is uh, you have your product object and you have your price book object so your price book entry will behave as a junction object so whenever you are creating a price book entry object junction um, object record so you need only two things right and what are those things one would be the id of the product right and other would be the id of the price book right so why for an opportunity so when uh, if you have noticed um, on the opportunity we have a section called product right but before configuring the product it says that we need to have uh, uh, we need to select your price book right so there is one relation between your opportunity and price book is that uh, price book is your is the parent of your opportunity so one opportunity can have only one price book right but one price book can be present in multiple opportunities so opportunity is the child of price book so while configuring any uh, product into your opportunity we need to select the price book then it uh, allows us to select the products right again this is not the direct relationship this is a junction relationship so let's see uh, in the uh, uh, in the salesforce uh, ui how the things look like so uh, guys if you see we have this product and this price books right so uh, what happens here is let's start uh, by showing you one opportunity so in an opportunity we will take this opportunity and currently if you see we have a related list of this opportunity and we don't have any products in here right so what I am I doing is I would be adding a product but before adding a product it asked me to choose price book right but what if I didn't choose any price book so again I get this option as uh, the price book that I need to select would be which one right standard standard price book or custom so standard price book and uh, and I can add uh, any product in here right so I'll add the quantity and I'll just save this record if I just click on this I would be landed over to my product page but if I just uh, edit the details so see if this was the thing I was referring you about that this is your opportunity product don't get confused between the opportunity line item and opportunity product they, got, they both are the same things so this this 5000 rupees from where this is coming from this is coming from your uh, price book and which price book we have chosen here is we have chosen our standard price book right let me just open the product open the related list okay sorry my bad it is opening uh, it has opened the opportunity product record and i am just opening the product record from here and see uh, in our standard price book the price was set as 5000 rupees instead of 5000 if i wrote it as uh, 1000 rupees uh, the same would be reflected in here 
so if I see and click on edit so the list price here is 1000 rupees but the sales price is coming as 5000 rupees sales means the price as which we are selling but the list price if we since we have selected that uh, uh, price book in here so by default the price was set to 5000 and the same uh, came in here but if we want to sell at a lower rate let's like suppose 2000 so currently the price is 10,000 because of this 5000 into 2 but if I do 2000 into 2 so it would be a price of here 4000 rupees so uh, it would be displayed in here that was the uh, relation between your opportunity and your uh, opportunity products right now let me just help you with creating a new uh, price book so let's suppose we have a price book called dummy one and we need to set this as active right now for this price book we have this price book entries and we can add some products from here correct but let's suppose for my testing purpose i have uh, some products so let me just create one dummy product one and i'll mark this as active so my this product is ready and uh, in order for a product to be available to sell right we need to have some price book associated with that okay so if I select my add a standard price, it says to select the standard price book. But what happens if we just select the dummy price book and I wrote the price as and save, right? So it says that before creating a custom price, create a standard price, right? So if I just click on this, use standard price, again, it is saying me that I have a standard price book that is there for all my means right because whenever we are working with products we have a gen standard product that is the benchmark product or the base base price for a product right okay let's suppose you are selling some item and for that item uh, that costed you the creation of that item costed you 50 rupees right now you don't sell it in 40 rupees because you would go in a minus of uh, 10 rupees right either you would sell that in zero profit zero loss that is uh, 50 rupees or you would set a standard price as let's suppose 100 rupees that be below 100 you won't be selling this so you just created a standard price right now based upon that if you want you want in a dummy one you just want to share 200 uh, rupees so you can uh, have that 200 rupees in a separate price book so price book uh, just consider that these are a separate book this is again a separate book in this book you uh, you target um, x customers and uh, in the other one you target uh, um, y customers so if we uh, open this this opens your what does this open if you edit these or uh, what this this is your price book uh, entry or what is this do let me know in the product uh, comment section that what is uh, uh, this thing in here i have my product i have my price book and i have the list price also in here so what is this right and 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 add to price book i told you we can add a product uh, to a price book so that is in here so I hope you got an idea how you can check from the product details that how in which which price book they are there and what is the price for all the uh, products right so I think that uh, clears the doubt for your product price book price book entry uh, right and again one more thing whenever you are working with this product object so this uh always remember it uh comes with mostly junction objects only so like whenever you would be working with your order also again as, same as opportunity you have a related list and the order also order uh, products only so don't just get confused it is again a junction between your order and products so that is again a order line item right so i hope uh, this clears the doubt of your uh, products price books and other things uh, if you have any related doubts on this you can comment down uh, we would be happy to help and so with this we would be uh, going ahead uh, with our amazon series so customers and partners i have already created these price books so we would be working on the navigation section because the product configuration part has already been done so if you haven't watched our previous videos 
I request you to watch those and so that we are all in a sync. So yeah, that was it for today's video. Thanks and have a good day.